Hey guys, Derpin in Life here, and we're working for Aperture. Right now, it's May 8th, and they released a perpetual ini uh, test initiative update. They're going bankrupt, and they need us to build maps for free, and which we're going to do. It's not really a replacement for Hammer, as you can only design one test chamber and not connect them or anything. But uh, it's more basic, and it's a little more easier to use. So I'll show you how that works in a second, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, we're back, and this is the, the building screen, the editor screen. Basically, you can go up here, move it around, you can click around here, rotate. Rotate from down here too. Sidebar of all your items to use. Oh, well, items? Whatever, your stuff to use. You can click a button move it onto the map, you can rotate it by this little circle thing. You can right click the button, connect it to this door, and you can set the button time from, I don't know how high and I don't know how low, I'll see how low it can be. So the highs can be infinite, but, and it can't go, it's only three or infinite for there, okay. I don't know how high the timer goes, and I probably don't want to click here just for seconds to find out. Now I'm going to delete this, and I'm going to try... I'm going to see what you can do with the... Pen wow, the storage cubes. Okay, you right-click it to change the cube. You can remove the dropper. You can disable auto respawn, you can disable auto drop. I'm going to disable auto drop and then I'm going to connect it to a button, but I'll do that in a second. Actually, I should probably move it. Hmm. I wonder where I would move it to. I know it's going to need. Okay, I have an idea. To make these surfaces editable, I don't. Editable? Edit? Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know what the portable means. I probably find out later. I'll probably find out later. If you're wondering how I'm doing that, you just press minus on your keyboard, or you can right click and then say pu uh, push. Okay, and now bring the dropper. Well, bring the dropper there. Okay, and then I'm going to bring, I'm going to put a button here, connect it there, and then I'm going to put button here, and I'm going to remove this there. Alright, so what I wanted to do is when I press this button, I'll put a portal here and a portal up here. Wait. Would that mean... Yeah, the dropper's in the way. Okay. Now, to save your level, level, you can publish it now, which I don't... But I'm pretty sure you have to rebuild it first, so I'm going to do that in a second. So be right back. Okay, I misread this. It's portable. Yeah, it just sounds so weird. And I forgot to do this. Okay, we're back. Let's try that again, and we're back. The loader doesn't take that long. The rebuilding and loading doesn't take that long. It was only like 30, 20 seconds or so. Now, if this works correctly, well, no. Let's see if I actually set this up correctly. Should drop there, and ah. Oh. Let me see if I can line that up. A little bit better. There we go. Alright, and level's done. Pretty fun to do. Anyways, what you do when you're, if you want to save the level, you go to publish and it'll rebuild, so it'll give it a second beer back. 
All right, so yeah, it has to rebuild, and now basically all you do, oh, that's cool. You name it, put your description, and then just publish. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.